What's up guys? I'm about to show you how to make one of my favorite transitions on Final Cut Pro X using the Draw Mask tool. Let's get started. Once you have your project set up and ready to go on Final Cut Pro X, select the two clips that you want to use. In order to make something like this work, you will need a clip where you move past an object that fills up the whole screen, such as the clip I used here. This will set up your next clip, which will be revealed once the object finishes passing through. Once you have your clips picked out, place a reveal clip underneath the main clip. Make sure you place the second clip right when the object starts to reveal on the other end. Next, click on the effects tab, type in draw mass in the search bar below, then drag the effect to the main clip. You'll probably want to resize your screen to do the next step. It will now ask you to add a control point to the clip in the screen. What you need to do is cover up everything that is being shown after you have passed the object by placing the control points. But first, place the points one frame before it starts to reveal. Once that is done, click on Invert Mask in the Video Inspector screen. You will now need to add keyframes. Do this by simply right-clicking on the Transform tab in the Draw Mask Inspector box and click Add. This will automatically place keyframes for each frame. I also like to feather the edges, which makes it softer and blends it in better. Make sure to click on the keyframe button next to it as well after you're done. Now you need to fix every frame in the clip to reveal the next one. You can do this by clicking on the right arrow key on your keyboard, which will move it one frame every time you press it. Move the key points over every time you skip to the next frame. Make sure to fix up individual points to wrap around the object that is passing by. And that's it. Play the clip to see if there are any points you need to go back and fix. 